Let us solve a numerical on monopoly and perfect competition and how to find the number of firms in a competitive equilibrium industry. Okay, the question is like this. A drug company is a monopoly supplier of drug X, okay, uh, which is protected by patent. Okay, nobody can produce it. The demand for the uh, drug is being given as is. P is equal to 100 minus X. P is the price. X denotes the quantity. And the monopolistic cost function is as C is equal to 25 plus x square okay c denotes the total cost x is the output we have to determine the profit maximizing price and quantity for monopolist okay very simple and after that uh, suppose that the patent expires at a certain point of time and after that any new drug company can enter the market okay then there is no obviously barrier uh, to enter into this market and produce drug x facing same cost function it says that when there are no barriers to entry, okay, and each uh, firm has same cost function, what will be the competitive equilibrium industry output and price? We need to find out the competitive equilibrium industry output and price and the number of firms in the market, okay? So let's solve one by one. So first we have demand function is P is equal to 100 minus X. Cost function is 25 minus x square okay so we are solving for the monopolistic equilibrium price and quantity first now for monopolist what is the profit maximizing uh, condition simple marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost now how to find marginal revenue we need to first find out total revenue and we know total revenue is simply price into quantity okay here we have x okay let me write its price into x okay so price is 100 minus x to this we multiply x so this becomes 100 x minus x square okay and what is marginal revenue marginal revenue is simply the derivative of total revenue with respect to output so that is simply derivative of total revenue with respect to x so taking derivative of this so the derivative of x is 1 so we are left with 100 derivative of x square is 2x by power function rule we have this 2 becomes coefficient then we have x and exponent is subtracted by 1 so we get 2x only okay and total cost is being given us we need to find out marginal cost and marginal cost is nothing but the derivative of total cost with respect to output so derivative of constant is 0 derivative of x square is again 2x okay in this case uh, sorry we have plus uh, x square okay so this becomes 2x okay derivative of x square is 2x okay how do we found, find out if we have x to the power n its derivative is n x to the power n minus 1 exponent becomes coefficient and exponent is subtracted by 1 okay if we have x to the power 6 its derivative will be we have 6 here then we have x then this 6 minus 1 so this is 6 x to the power 5 okay so this way we find out the derivative using power function rule now profit maximization condition requires marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost let us use this so our marginal revenue could go a cash 100 minus 2x should be equal to 2x okay so this is our so i will write here this is our marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost okay so now um, if i transpose minus 2x here it will become plus 2x so 2x plus 2x is 4x so we have 4x is equal to 100 that gives us x is equal to 100 upon 4 which is 25 so monopolist will uh, produce 25 units of this drug and what at what price so let's find out the price the price will be equal to just plug x is equal to 25 in our inverse demand function so we have 100 minus the value of x which we got here 25 so this is simply equal to so 100 minus 25 is 75 so 
75 will be the price charged by monopolist for the drug x and he will produce only 25 units okay this was about the monopolist and what about the perfect competition should i draw the graph here okay let me draw it roughly so we were having this monopolist uh, demand function okay so this was demand function then cost function was given us as 25 plus x square now marginal cost is 2x so this will denote our marginal cost and what was marginal revenue marginal revenue was uh, 100 minus 2x okay so we have like this okay so this is our marginal cost this is our marginal revenue and equilibrium requires marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost so this will be like this so it will produce 25 units at a price of 75 okay i have done it roughly now coming back to the perfect competitive output okay now we are being told that uh, suppose the patent expires if patent expires that means there is no restriction to enter into this market okay so any firm can enter into this market and after that any now a new drug company can enter the market and produce drug x facing same cost okay we are being told that any firm can enter into the market facing same cost function okay cost function is same then what will be competitive equilibrium industry output and price we need to find out the competitive equilibrium industry price okay now what is the cost of, of each uh, uh, each firm cost of each firm is 25 plus x square okay now we know that in long run in long run in long run price should be equal to minimum of average average cost okay so price should be equal to minimum of average cost now what is meant by minimum of average cost it simply means so minimum of average cost means first we need to find out the average cost now average cost is simply uh, total cost upon output so we have this 25 plus x square to this we divide by x so this becomes 25 upon x uh, plus x square upon x so this comes out to be 25 upon x plus x okay this is our average cost now minimum of average cost means uh, now minimum of average cost means we need to put this average cost and take its derivative that means uh, minimum of ac implies that the derivative of average cost with respect to output should be equal to zero okay so simple thing if this is our average cost then to find the minimum of average cost we need to uh, take derivative and set it equal to zero that means the slope should be equal to zero okay this means minimum of ac okay the point where it is minimum so we need to find out the derivative at that point now derivative of uh, x here so this can be written as 25 upon x can be written as 25 uh, x to the power minus 1 if I transpose numerator to denominator I have to change the exponent sign it is x to the power plus 1 it becomes x to the power minus 1 okay so then we have 25 the derivative of this x to the power minus 1 as you know by power function rule this minus 1 will become coefficient we have x then minus 1 and exponent is subtracted by 1 so this becomes 25 uh, minus 1 into 25 is minus 25 now x minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 so this becomes minus 25 if i again transpose this to denominator so it will become x square okay so exponent sign will again change if i change new denominator sorry numerator to denominator okay so this is the derivative so uh, derivative of 25 upon x came out to be minus 25 upon x square uh, plus 
the derivative of x is uh, uh, x is here 1 so we set it equal to 0 which means uh, if I transpose this 25 upper kosher by RHS so this will become 25 plus x square should be equal to 1 okay simple thing so doing cross multiplication we have x square x square should be equal to 25 if x square is equal to 25 that means that means uh, x is equal to transposing this uh, exponent it will become 1 upon it will get reciprocated 2 will become 1 upon 2 simple thing if we have x to the power n is equal to y if i transpose this exponent here so we have x is equal to y if it is n here it will become 1 upon n okay so it becomes under root 25 so x is equal to uh, plus minus 5 so this is 5 square for this will get cancelled so we get two values for x plus 5 and minus 5 minus 5 we can easily uh, discredit or disregard or you know we will not take this because negative output doesn't make any sense so x is equal to plus 5 okay that means in in competitive equilibrium industry each firm will produce five units of output okay now then what is the price price is equal to minimum of abc so price is equal to minimum of ac sorry ac okay we need to find the minimum of ac at the equilibrium uh, out that means at x is equal to 5 okay so this is p what is minimum of ac minimum of ac we have calculated it here we have almost this is our derivative of this okay so this is 25 to this we divide by units of x that is 5 plus x is 5 so this is 5 5 is 25 this comes out to be 10 that means price will be equal to 10 in uh, competitive equilibrium industry output produced by each firm will be 5 then what is the total uh, output producer so since our demand function is equal to p is equal to 100 minus x so let us rewrite it and this demand function i can just transpose this x here this p here so our industry output is equal to x is equal to 100 minus p in this put the value of p is equal to 10 that means x is equal to 100 minus 10 okay that means x is equal to 90 okay that means uh, so total output produced in this industry will be equal to 90 okay then uh, we need to find out the number of firms okay so number of firms number of firms firms is simply if total uh, if uh, industry produces 90 units and each firm produces 5 then number of firms will be equal to uh, industry output okay industry output upon uh, firms output okay firms output okay so total industry output is 90 upon each firm is producing 5 that means number of firms will be equal to 5 ones are 5 8s are 40 i guess it is 18 so number of firms will be equal to 18 i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you